All of these pieces most definitely come from Terry's very individualized and personal experience, and yet they're about all of us. They're about those things that make all of us up every minute of every day. And I think if there is a unifying quality that folks will be able to, to latch on to as they walk through the show, it's Terry's use of everyday commonly found objects and the way that she asserts herself upon these objects and redefines them uh, by recontextualizing them, by sometimes violent, violently yet elegantly cutting through objects, showing you a cross-section of very familiar objects so that they're no longer familiar in terms of our everyday experience. And what happens is these objects uh, in their new formats, in the way that Terry has incorporated them with each other and into these unified works of art, they become reflective of other pieces and parts of our experience. I started um, to make this, this piece called Surveillance Drawing um, in uh, that ongoing attempt to talk about recreating what is a drawing, what is the traditional mediums that I've explored, so what is a drawing, what is a painting, and, and kind of reinventing that process in my own way, or that way of working. Um, so I made Surveillance Drawing kind of uh, in an attempt to um, to put all of these um, shredded uh, photographs and I even got some old TV guides. So you've got like six, you've got lots of monitors over here. The monitor image is the, the circular form. And um, I just wanted to talk about the watching that goes on in the process of seeing an actual uh, piece's uh, gut. Um, when you look at this piece, the surveillance drawing, um, one of the things that comes up is this whole idea of how is it made and what's behind. And so what's behind this piece, um, how, uh, how is it constructed? And so with this, this piece, this sculptural piece attached to surveillance drawing, I'm playing with what would it be like if the viewer actually just pulled that panel off the wall and it revealed the guts of the process. And so this would actually, this is actually the guts. This was how I construct these things. So you, you pull it off the wall and comedically you're seeing the electronics. What makes this piece go? And that's my playful side. I, I like to play with that whole idea of how do you transcend that, that, that physical wall and get to the meaning. A while back, I started wanting to kind of talk about the whole idea of that physical act of, there was a time when you, there was a primitive time when you would actually have to put the record on the player, and, and you would sit there and you would be, be involved because you know that you're needed, you're actually needed to turn the record over, and then you could absorb more of the, the sound. And um, so that actual, process of turning and being part of that music experience, which we no longer have. We can just passively turn something on, absorb, and get that into our, into our world quite easily. And this has a, a, a different kind of feel to it. So I started making these record pieces called Sides. They're, they're kind of this radial composition. I, I'm really a fan of, of, of Jay DeFeo, who made a very um, radial, amazing piece in the 60s that um, has some of that kind of feeling of even almost religious awe. So this one almost has a little bit of a Star Wars feeling, but the fun part about it is I, I tried to access what's at hand with material and what came out of it is the labels were as the labels started to reveal themselves, they became the marking, and, and, and they helped to make this uh, drawing happen, if it is a drawing or if it's a sculpture. Um, so the mark started becoming part of the material. I um, 
have this way of producing my work that doesn't, it isn't contained within a certain way of working. Some artists are very much um, directed in a very singular uh, voice and uh, with singular uh, uh, materials. And I, uh, I, long ago, I liberated myself and I said that I am uh, allowed <laughs> to work in all different um, ways and statements and materials and so that's my thing and so um, so I, I hope and my hope is is that when I go through the various kind of circuitous, sometimes circuitous motion of making various works um, that there could be and will be an overarching strand that, that, that says okay these are Terry, Terry Maker's work.